So I haven't vlogged at all today and really we're just trying to sort out this whole deck situation because the options that they've given us really aren't the best options. Hello myself. Um, they really aren't the best options. We can paint it for free, so we'll paint it and make it this ugly solid color. Looks, has the texture of wood, but it looks fake. Or we can get new lumber and just try again, which it'll probably just splinter again because they decided to choose this really expensive cedar, which cedar is supposed to be like wall or ceiling wood. It splinters very easily, apparently, uh, which is not good, which is not what we want. There's no purpose in having a deck that splinters all the time, especially if it's by a pool. That's the problem. It's by a pool. If it's a normal deck, like, where you're going to have your shoes on all the time and everything, fine. We wouldn't put up a big deal. It is a pool deck. It is next to a pool. It needs to be where you can have your bare feet on it. Or we can get the synthetic, which looks fake, and is going to cost us the cheap synthetic, which looks cheap, is going to cost us probably like $1,600. The good looking synthetic has three different styles called Trex, and that's gonna cost us at least $2,000. So we're not really excited about this. This is what's frustrating is like, there shouldn't be any issue. We paid well over the amount of money that we should have paid for one. If we would have known this would have been such an issue, we would have just foregone the deck and had our friend Brian do it, who actually knows what he's doing. It would have been nice because I, it would have been nice to have just done it that way. We'd have rather paid our friend Brian to do it, and I would have gone out there with labor and everything and helped him out. So I don't know. We'll see what they say. Okay. Uh, we've also contacted the bank about this as well because the bank wants to know if we're happy with the with everything and We said no, we're not happy with the deck situation So we sent all the stuff to them make sure we have proof of uh, this stuff and we've we've got it on video some of it on video So and you guys have seen it on some of the vlogs it's all on one vlog But today's vlog god it took me like three hours to edit today's vlog because I put together that little workout montage That stuff takes forever, but I think Jesse's recording right now I'm not sure we're supposed to go to the grocery store or not the grocery store But the Walgreens and then I guess we're working out today. I think we are um, It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be real tough. What are you doing? I'm, I'm just now I'm starting the vlog Oh my god! I know, I haven't vlogged Did all day. You know what time it was? No, shh. You don't have to tell them that. They'll think it's been all day. It's early in the morning, guys. Yeah, my watch to turn on. I keep trying to flip it. Did it freeze today? It's not 4.34 p.m. or anything. No. <laughs> I streamed today. Oh my god, I feel so crap. I need to get my medicine back. Well, the reason why I haven't vlogged is I've been editing and I've been dealing with the deck guy and now I got you involved with the deck guy. I'll kill that deck guy. Did they say anything? He hasn't said anything back to me, and Tyler hasn't said anything, so we'll wait and see. Um, did you say? Did you send to the bank people? Yeah, and they said that the best thing I can do is try to find out when our warranty was on it, and like try to press them to be like, hey, like you want me to tell you good things about, or tell people good things about you to my friends and my family and my YouTube channel with 1.3 million subscribers. <laughs> You're gonna, would you like please like work on getting it fixed for me and try to be proactive about that, and then see what happens from there, but. Like my dad said, we just gotta be really nice about it now and document everything, and then if they don't, which I imagine they're not gonna not, but if they don't fix it the way we'd like, then we have a small thing for it. Oh my gosh. These are all my jerseys. How many do you have officially? A lot, I think like 25 or 30. I wear my socks 24 seven, except I when I get whole, in the pool. No, I was reading this whole thing about how to take care of your feet. It says never be barefoot unless you're in bed. That's one thing, it says clean them. Who? What kind of article did you read? My feet, it was on like some, I don't know, probably Facebook. But my feet, it's not one of those fake articles either. It was just like a thing saying like ways to take care of your feet so you don't have so many like, uh, what do they call I guarantee them? you. You went to a site that had like CNN banners all across it and the website link was like H345602. Boy, are you bored with my me downing yeah, you? I, I, I wow. Those, I was bored. Rude. But, um, but Rude. my feet are soft and beautiful and I don't ever have any problems. So. Go kill boys! That's what I heard you say at the very Go end. Kill boys! What were you doing? I had my Tony Romo jersey that I was showing everybody. Like, oh. Isn't it? Isn't it? Lovely. Isn't it wonderful? I gotta do the outro for my video. Okay, you wanna check out the video though for today? Yeah, I have to do my outro. Okay. Okay, update on the deck. The deck is gonna get replaced by synthetic wood. Um, they're gonna cut us a deal and they're gonna split the cost. The, the pool guy's been great. So we'll figure it out from there. Now we just have to select a color. Hi there. Oh my God, look at that baby mummy. It's me and my baby. It's your mummy. It's my mum. Your mummy cat. I have a shell wrapped up. I African wrapped her. When I was in Africa, they'd wrap their babies in these things and hold them, and so I tried to make one. What did Jenny say to that? She hasn't responded because she's probably still traveling and hasn't seen it, but we're just sitting here taking a nap together. See, I'm napping. <laughs> and Gerda was napping too. She didn't have her eyes closed though. 
she was, but she's too much. She got a camera on her, so she knows she's too uh, She's camera shy. Um, so what did he say? So we're gonna do the, 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 uh, what is it called? Trex? No, not Trex, whatever the... The fan? Valbuena or whatever it's called. Okay, and is it got a pretty good guarantee? I don't know, sure. And they're gonna do half of it? Yeah, they're gonna pay, he's gonna pay for half. Out of his own pocket? Yeah. He said if they didn't have to saw it, they'd pay for Trex and just get it done. Good morning, Fubi. Uh, I am going to try to do my pork butt, which I woke up kind of late for, so this will be a late pork butt whenever it's ready, but we're gonna go inside, grab some beers, and go chill at home, um, and just really not do anything today besides that. Well, I might actually stream some of this process. We will see. We will see. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, the other half of Fubi here, Fangs. And we are kind of separated today, so we're gonna try to somehow put this vlog together with me doing what I'm doing and him doing what he's doing. It's kind of a girl's day in my neighborhood, and today I'm gonna start off with being 16 minutes late to a trunk show where I apparently look at purses and other kind of stuff that people are selling. This man just stared at me. Why'd you just stare at me? He was staring at me, look. Why'd you stare at me? Anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm about to go in there. I'm very late, fashionably. Fashionably late. Uh, the rest of the day is gonna be like pedicures and dinner and drinks. I'm not gonna drink that much because I have to make a football video tomorrow. I say that. We'll see how I am at the end of the night. I've had a couple of drinks. I can't focus on my own red nose. Hello, everybody. Reporting back in. Uh, it looks like we they didn't have all the things I needed at the grocery store, so I'm gonna head to Barbecues Galore and see exactly what I can pull up to see if there's uh, any sort of accessories I might need, because I know I need to get a rake for the grill so I can get the coals out in like a, a little deal. So I'm gonna see what they have. They may have stuff that's like way too expensive, but I at least need some claws for today so I can pull apart the pull apart. I guess technically if it's tender enough, I could just do it by fork. I don't know if I want to risk that or not. I'm just going to go check it out. Okay, so from the store we got the XL. We had to get this one because there, I looked online for a cheaper alternative and there's no cheap alternative for that. Um, I got the cheap. These are relatively cheap, but these are pretty, still pretty good. These are the boar. The, well, they're bear paws is what they're called. I was going to say boar paws, but they're bear paws. I said that incorrectly. And then we've also got ourselves, it's not stainless steel, but this will work for now, um, an injector. It was the cheaper one. We will make sure and put this in our pork, and then we're going to go. I'm so late for this pork. This is going to be done at like 10 o'clock at night, or whatever. Update on the pork butt. We have it injected, and we have it marinating right now. This is the injection. I just use barbecue sauce with ivory stuff. It's from North Alabama. The stubs, pork is the marinade, and then we're gonna make our mop sauce. And this should be pretty good. Supposedly pork is fairly forgiving and easy to do, but I'll tune you back up in just a second. We're making our, our, our mop sauce right now, waiting for the water to get warm. We're gonna put, I think, a cup of water in there. We're still marinating. The fire's going outside. Let's go check on that. Okay, so our temperatures have spiked. So my cook time is gonna be way off right now. But uh, we don't have it in yet. I didn't realize it was gonna spike. It spiked to like 450, so I'm just waiting for it to come down to 250. And then we'll pop this bad boy in and get it started. Okay, so I lifted up the, the egg to put everything in, and now it won't go back up. The temp won't go back up. I'm having an issue here. I don't know what I've done. But I think I've suffocated a little bit too much. But we got it open. We got the bottom wide open. So hopefully some of this breeze will help pick it up. We'll get it back up. So this is a wild idea. I'm gonna try streaming IRL from the laptop. Currently guys, we are live on the scene on GI underscore Doobie on Twitch TV. Thank you very much for checking out the stream chat. Say hello. Oh, there we go. Now Beat said hi. Boom, we got a new battery. Hello vlog. Hello stream. Just want to give the vlog a quick update. 
Look at all this beautiful smoke. Oh my God, yeah. Now we're talking. Look at that brown color. Hello, stream. So we're still on the stream. We're still jamming to some music. Ick. Music. Um, quick update on the uh, on the deck. The deck is going to be closer to this material now. And after being in the sun, it gets a little warm. It's probably going to get hot in the summer. But this wood is very splintery and it's like impossible to deal with. So it's going to be replaced because it is stuff that is not very good. So we will see. We will see. So while you guys were away, we just filmed or filmed. Uh, we, it's just me. I just did the first ever live stream of crossbar challenge. I hit it. I nicked the top corner, so that counts for me. Um, it was pretty good, but uh, you guys should have been there. It was awesome. 5.14 p.m. I haven't vlogged anything because I'm a terrible person. Um, we did the whole, I don't even know what they called it, the whole jewelry thing. I have had a few beers, so that doesn't help my cause. But um, we did the whole, it was like a jewelry and bag thing. What they call it? Stella and Dot. We did the Stella and Dot thing. I did get a bracelet. It's awesome. Brown leather, chevron on it. It'll be awesome. I probably won't get it for like four to six days, so you'll see it at that point. Now, I'm with a bunch of the girls from my neighborhood, and we're gonna go out and rage! Just kidding, we're not, but, I mean, maybe. <laughs> we're gonna go out, we're gonna get pedicures. We're going to go to like get drinks and happy hour, and then we're gonna go to dinner, and then who knows what's gonna happen from there. Don't make fun of my fingers, okay? I got really broken fingers, but. Doobie's probably got a lot more vlog for today. I do not, because I've been terrible about it. I need to bring it together a lot better than this. Got done with the pork, and I will say it is probably the best pulled pork I have ever had, ever. And I'm not kidding, like when I say ever, I mean ever. It's in here, it's all wrapped up. I'll let you know a little bit more, maybe tomorrow. It is some of the best, actually I'll show you. I'll show you a little bit of a sample I was gonna give to the guys while I go down to the uh, place here real quick. That's, you can see it in there. You can't really see it, but let me pull some out. Like, look how easy this just falls apart. Oh, it's amazing. Oh my God, it's so good. Thanks to whoever tuned in to the actual stream of it, because we played a crossbar challenge live on Twitch, and we also did uh, some smoking on the grill, and we were just talking and everything, so it was fun. Thank you so very much for the people who showed up. I was gonna say how many people, but it would be embarrassing to tell you how many people actually showed up. So if you guys are interested in those kinds of streams, hit uh, twitch.tv slash gi underscore like doobie. All right guys, I am here today at a nail salon. Getting my, look at my toes. They need to be done. I'm not gonna show you my full on toes, because <laughs> But uh, we'll see how this goes. I got myself a. Daiquiri is so strong. That is super strong. 5:49 p.m. We'll see how this goes. Is it easy to show with the weight 7:19 p.m. Hi, Holly. We were about to go eat some dinner at Del Frisco's. Uh, we're downtown, and I'm supposed to be vlogging a lot more than I have been. But this is Doobie's job. I don't know if we have to do this. So I'm trying to do it as much as I possibly can. We're heading. We're in downtown Fort Worth. Check out the beauty. Oh my god. Super tall. The palace. The girls. Alright. We're making it happen. We're getting some dinner in. You ready for some dinner? Ready.
I'm Chief Rundus. We're in Speed Beast in Chuck Berry's passport and we can go down to this crazy area. Yes. Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry. We're gonna try it. I will try to maybe vlog from there, but we will see what the deal is. I've never been here before, so we will check it out. Hopefully nobody runs me over. What'd you guys, <laughs> hey, hey, you what, hey, it, dude. hey, oh, no. oh, hey, shit. hey. What'd you, what did you guys, what'd you guys think of the pool pork? Listen, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gay, but your meat in my mouth. <laughs> Oh yeah! No, oh my no. god! Oh my god! Look at that, dude! <laughs> Dar hey, Darnell Reeves loved the meat. Darnell, <laughs> Darnell Reeves loved Darnell me. Reeves hey, Darnell Reeves, Reeves loved me. me. Sean's all about the Fubi love. I'm all about the Fubi. Yeah, yeah he's he's pro what Fubi. What we need to do is we need to spread the word of Fubi. And let's start right here. And well, the thing is, is I would show Jason, but he always shies away. He says, "I want to be untraceable," and you know what? I will respect that, and I will say, "Jason, you can stand." Yeah, I mean, really and truly, I know how to do that, but well, if you well, if you don't want it, Jason, I won't do it. We can keep them off the uh, vlog. We can yeah. get them to watch it. You could get you a YouTube hours. account. They're free. I know you like free. And, you know, and you could, you know, hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Hit, hit that hit that bell so that you get every live update on whenever the new video is released. Yeah, very important. Boom, boom, shakalaka. Yeah. And then you and Holly can start your own vlog. A Hollywood be fa actually fantastic on YouTube. You know, you can make a nice living doing this. Holly can actually look and actually retire in the nursing industry. And then she can <laughs> she's turned into a professional shopper, right? You're in there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is the exit of the speakeasy. I just came out in the middle of an alleyway. Oh dear gosh. What time is it? I'm trying to timestamp for Doobie. Can't see it. 11.06 p.m. Oh God, none of my friends came with me. I'm out of here by myself. This is actually kind of scary. Yo, I'm in downtown. I'm by myself. I got an expensive camera. Oh my God. Building, where did my friends go? Tell me they're gonna come out of that door. Some point, my friends are gonna come out of that door. Come on, Kate. There's a Corvette. Is that Sniper Wolves? Nope, it's white. Can't be hers. She has a red one. For a second, I thought I was out here on my lonesome. You were I actually got scared. I had people to meet. We are like I got scared. Sorry. I got scared. I carry out on the What's going on? Wow, that's a lot of text. Should Holly, Is that from tonight? Did Holly, Jesse, and I crash boys night? No. No, absolutely not. Rude! We're going to our house. Everybody is cray. Why aren't Jesse and Holly being cray? <laughs> Holly just wants music. Jesse is drizzled. <laughs> you know what's funny about that is that they were like, oh, we're gonna have a girl's day and we're gonna do nails and go to the spa and it's like We didn't intrude on not one part of that because we didn't want a part of that and now you want to crash boys night I mean Cody just said he would eat a roach if we found one. What? Jesse, did you vlog at all today? Yeah, she vlogged a lot. Oh, she did? We vlogged different cafe. We vlogged at all the cafe. Yeah, the same, the same freaking, it's almost the same coat. It's, it's pretty close, all right? Stop, stop glaring at me. Glare? You're, you're glare? You're lucky that Andy saved you, because you hung up on me, and I was going to kill you. I did not hang up on you. I died, and then I just, I charged on the way over here. 